Everyone talks about that new fancy piece of equipment that you need to have, but they never talk about those underrated pieces of equipment that you need to have in your garage gym daily. One of those being the barbell. You should treat this with the respect because it is one of the most used piece of equipment daily in your garage gym. Maybe even taking it on a date every once in a while might be good, but make sure your significant other doesn't know about this. But honestly, stop leaving these on the ground. This can actually induce more rusting and reduce the longevity of the barbell due to the moisture being more prevalent on the floor. And for the storage option, you could go cheaper with a J-hook from your local hardware store, but I actually recommend buying a barbell storage that's actually meant for it. So you can either go for a gun rack style or a vertical storage. The reason why I would go for the barbell storage over a cheap option is because it's actually meant for it. It's gonna have the correct padding, so you're not gonna damage your barbell as easily when you put it back into the rack. If you do store those barbells on the wall, it's gonna be much easier to access them, but it also is gonna help reduce the chance of rusting and keeping your barbell much cleaner. No sound workouts, whether that's not having a music or podcast playing, can make a workout much tougher and mentally challenging. So what I recommend you do is have good sounding speakers that are connected to a radio, but make sure you have a Bluetooth connection so you can actually play the music from your phone. When I first started out, I was using a small speaker like this, or even my phone for that fact, but I don't recommend this option because it's going to be hard to hear it over that bike fan or barbells dropping. So invest the money in a good speaker system, whether that's $100 or $150, it's gonna be worth it in the long run because you're gonna have that speaker system for a longer period. A nice thing with having a good speaker system, you can always listen to your favorite YouTuber, but it honestly prevents you from looking at your phone and getting distracted. And so your workout goes from two hours to being four hours because you are looking at Facebook, Instagram, or just surfing the web. One of the items right next to my radio is my timer, but this timer doesn't require a remote. So it all goes through an app on your phone. It isn't really just a timer, but you can set it up for your workouts. So you can set a time cap, an AMRAP, or just an interval training. The nice feature with the app as well is if you go for a park workout or outside workout where you don't have that timer, you can actually use the app as just a timer itself without the clock. Having enough space to work out in, but also safely, can be done by a storage rack. It is often one of the most overlooked pieces of equipment because it just sits in the corner. If you guys are looking for a video on a budget storage rack, I'll put this up in the corner and also down in the description so you can listen to it later as well. Though all this is really important, it's nice to have a significant other who supports or maybe doesn't know all you spend on the equipment, but just kidding, but make sure your significant other does know what you spend because don't want to find out later on. Stop having to continue looking at your phone because this can be one of the biggest distractions in your garage gym when you're trying to work out. So that's why I recommend having a set of plexiglass. With that plexiglass, I would have a good set of dry erase markers to help write down those workouts. But that plexiglass isn't just meant for writing down your workouts. It can help prevent getting scrapes on your wall from your feet when you're doing handstand push-ups. I actually have two of these plexiglass on my wall. It's pretty inexpensive, but the reason I have two, one gets my workouts written on, and the other one is used for my handstand push-ups. I also, on that second one, do put a quote on there that I came up with myself, but I cannot share it at this time. Depending on the season, weather, or space that you're in, you may need a dehumidifier, fan, or heater. This is just gonna make the space more comfortable to work out in. For an example, I use a dehumidifier and a fan to cool down my space and really pull that moisture out of the air so it makes the workout space more comfortable. In addition, that dehumidifier is gonna help reduce the rusting on your equipment in those summer months where it's gonna be very humid. All you have to do is suffer in the workouts and not just the temperature that you're dealing with. You are 100% gonna sweat no matter what type of space you're in. So I recommend having some good gymnastic chalks as it's gonna help you build a better grip on the bar so you're not gonna be slipping off and probably causing an injury. For the chalk, I'd buy blocks, but to store this chalk, I wouldn't just leave it as blocks. I would put it in a bucket that you can probably find at your local hardware store for three bucks or whatever it is, it'll be on screen here. And you don't need to put this all over your body. Please do not make this mistake. So if you are gonna use it, make sure you're putting chalk on your hands in the bucket so it doesn't create such a big mess. A cardio equipment that's very underrated is the speed rope, but it also can have different variations, whether that's a weighted rope or a standard speed rope. Double unders are always in the open or quarterfinals. Any competition you're gonna go to, they will be there, it's a promise. 
but they don't take up so much space to do. Just thing to be aware though, when you are learning, you are gonna probably whip yourself. So just know that that's gonna happen. Whether it's a pesky neighbor or a family member who doesn't like the sound of dropping barbells, one of the ways you can reduce the sound is by having a good set of silencer pads. The ones that I recommend is actually the ones from Titan Fitness. It's gonna cost you around $150, but it's worth it and it adds a feature of preventing a cracking of your flooring as well. These can be used as pulling blocks as they are six inches off the ground. For me, it's right above my knees. Yes, I am short, so don't go there. Five foot seven, I get it, I have short levers. But it also makes your family members happy as they don't hear the vibration inside the house or your neighbors outside. I live in a townhome. I haven't had any complaints from the neighbors on the sound yet. And yes, I do fail and sometimes I don't drop it on these pads. I still haven't had any complaints. But as David Goggins has said, if you don't fail, you don't know where you need to be. Having solid flooring can make or break your home gym from dropping weights to slipping on the concrete floor. Here's a video on budget flooring that you should check out next. Fancy pieces of equipment that you need to have. But today we are gonna go through, Jesus Christ.